If you've grown up liking SUVs, then you've a lot to thank Land Rover for, because few other brands are as synonymous with this market. In fact, it's helped transform over the last 70 years what was once a military workhorse into a luxury travelling companion. We were big fans of the old Land Rover Discovery and as such, hopes are high for this new model. Trouble is, the breadth and quality of the competition has increased too and this Discovery is going up against rivals including the Audi Q7 and Volvo XC90. So, is the new Discovery king of the SUVs? In this review, we'll find out. There's only three engines to choose from with the Land Rover Discovery and as you can imagine, the emphasis is very much on diesel. The entry-level SD4 copes very well in a car this size, even if there is a delay between putting your foot on the throttle and the car picking up any real speed. For a more desirable experience, go for the TD6, which we've got fitted to the car we're testing today. There's a lot more pulling power lower down in the revs and the delivery is much smoother. In fact, if you do a lot of towing, you'll really appreciate this extra pull. At the top of the range sits the SI6 3-litre V6 petrol, which propels the car along the road at an astonishing pace. Ultimately though, the running costs mean it's very difficult to recommend. Most of the engines are pretty refined too, barely sending any vibrations into the cabin. That said, Audi Q7 does manage to make it just a little more smoother. Whichever version of the Discovery you go for, the standard air suspension delivers a smooth ride and the car is particularly comfortable at motorway speeds. But Audi's pipped it again with its Q7 running on air suspension is even more serene. When it comes to handling, the Discovery is geared more toward comfort than sport. That said, you can drive through these corners at quite some pace without feeling like it's going to tip over. The steering is a little slow, which can take a little bit of getting used to, and on tight corners it does require quite a lot of arm turning. So, while the Discovery may not be ideal around town, few cars will beat it off-road. Rest assured, if you do plan to venture away from the tarmac, the Discovery will cross every mountain and ford every street. You'll have no trouble getting comfortable in the new Discovery and SUV fans will simply love how high up you sit, which gives you a great commanding view of the road. And it's easy to find a comfortable driving position, especially if you go for SE and above, because there's 12-way adjustable front seats as standard. I could be here all day. But anyway, I think that will be good. And all of these buttons are chunky, logically laid out, so much so that you can even use them with gloves on. Now, while it's easy to see out of the front of this car, the rear view is hampered slightly because it's so long. However, if you go for HSE, you get a reverse parking camera, and if you go for HSE Luxury, you get surround view cameras, which is brilliant. Although, if you're not going to spec such an expensive car, all but the entry-level S model come with front and rear parking sensors. In terms of interior quality, while there are still few rough edges in here, compared with an Audi Q7, it still feels suitably upmarket. Every Discovery comes with this touchscreen infotainment system and it has DAB radio and Bluetooth connectivity. The standard system can be a little dim-witted, so upgrade to the 10-inch screen if you can. Not only do you get a larger screen, but it also unlocks extra features and is more slick to use, although still can't beat BMW's iDrive system. You can upgrade it further on the options list by enabling your passenger to watch television while you can see the sat-nav instructions on the same screen, which is almost like magic. Now I'm going to see how easy it is to set a destination in the sat-nav and pair my mobile phone. Starting then with tap to connect phone. Let's go to my Bluetooth. System now discover. Oh, there we go, Land Rover. 
pair, yes. And Land Rover connected. Wow, that was easy and very, very quick. Let's see if it is just as easy to set a destination in the sat nav. Let's go to type an address and we will go to C V one space one F E. I have no idea where that is, but what I'm mainly interested in is you can put the full postcode in. Show place details and we should have start. Fantastic. Well, that was very easy. No matter your size or shape, there is plenty of space in the Land Rover Discovery to stretch out and quite a bit of distance between you and your passenger, which is handy if you don't particularly like them. Not so good if you do. There's also lots of storage places. There's some here. This is a cool box, two cup holders, an upper and lower glove box and deep door bins. Move to the second row and thanks to this car's width you can fit three adults side by side without any problems at all. Even those relegated to this third row of seats get a good deal and two adults will be comfortable back here. In fact there's considerably more space back here than you'll find in an Audi Q7 or BMW X5. Storage space back here is also pretty good and there are small areas dotted around for your loose items and a small door bin for water bottles. And then there's the Discovery's party piece. It's five intelligent rear seats which come on all high-end versions. They can be raised or lowered electrically or folded away entirely. And they have weight sensors to stop them being messed around with if there's someone sitting on them, ideal if you have young children. The second row slides and reclines and the third row folds away into the boot floor. Our only gripe is that the second row splits 60-40 as opposed to the more conventional 40-20-20 arrangement you'll find on most rivals. Boot space in the Discovery is fairly vast, but it does of course depend on how many passengers you've got with you. Even in seven seat mode, there's space for some shopping, while in five seat form, there's enough space for a full complement of holiday luggage. All versions of the Discovery come with a powered tailgate, which can also be gesture operated on higher end models. On paper, the Discovery looks like a very tempting prospect, given that it undercuts key rivals on price. However, most large SUV buyers will want creature comforts, and by the time you've ticked a few options on the list, it goes far beyond the entry level version and then becomes more expensive than key rivals from Volvo and Audi. And this shape isn't particularly aerodynamic, so your fuel bills will be higher than they would in these rivals. It also pumps out a lot more CO2, so it could hurt your wallet if you're a company car driver. On the plus side though, the Discovery is predicted to hold on to its value well. For the best Discovery, we team up the SD4 engine with the HSE trim, which gets you plenty of luxuries, including panoramic glass roof, keyless entry, and the upgraded infotainment system. Safety equipment is good on every Discovery and includes eight airbags and automatic emergency braking. A driver condition monitor, blind spot monitoring system and rear cross traffic alert system is also available on HSE models. When the Discovery was tested by Euro NCAP, it was awarded the full five stars. Make no mistake, if you're in the market for a large, luxurious SUV, then few cars will suit you better than the Land Rover Discovery. It's hugely capable and desirable and is just at home on the motorway and off-road. So, are you thinking of buying one? If so, head to whatcar.com and go to our new car deal section when we can help save you money off your next car. Also, head to whatcar.com for our full online review as well as its key rivals. And before you go, never miss another video. Hit subscribe.